so we're setting up for what's it called? The platelet rich plasma. Platelet rich plasma. Dr. Callback's office. I'm going to inject it into a knee. A knee. To facilitate healing? Mm -hmm. Yes. For what? Tendon? Uh, yeah, medium collateral ligament. But it can be tendon as well. Can you say that again? The medial, it's in the, in the, this patient is going to be the medial collateral ligament. But it can be put in tendons as well. Alright, there you go. Setting up in the office. It's going to draw the blood, spin, spin the plasma out, and re inject it on the site. And here comes the patient. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna just fill the blood first. And then once we're there. No, they don't. I can pull them up. Yeah, of course. So we say a little pinch. Feels more like a needle going into my vein no, <laughs> when they did to me. No, it's not bad at all. No. No. Because you're fit, and your veins right there. Yeah, I like good veins. Okay. So they're taking the patient's blood and spinning it in the, you want to pronounce it? Centrifuge? Centrifuge machine. But it's specific for this, right? Yes. It's not just any out of the lab. And that vial already had anti coagulants in it? Yeah. It's gonna, it has. Um, down there, silicone, which separates the plasma from the blood. Okay. <laughs> and then you're going to spin it and then draw the plasma back out. For six minutes. I think. At 1,100. Okay. No, no. Yeah, it's going to put it across from your weight. Counterbalance? Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. I'm going to start your Tuesdays. You can just start your PRP. Right. And now we wait. Okay. Okay. It'll stand for six minutes. Pretty practical. Let me examine it. MTF Sports Medicine. Yay. So we're shooting a YouTube style here. All right. Mm -hmm. So here we you can see we're doing it under sterile technique, sterile gloves. All the products are sterile. That's the plasma. So we got about almost five cc's of plasma. Exact, in fact, exactly five cc's of the plasma. You can see it's yellow. Doesn't look anything like blood. All right. So now, are you feeling good? All right. So basically, our knee is sterilely prepped the way we do it here. Now, the medial collateral ligament. Is that where it hurts? That's exactly where it medial collateral ligament comes from the medial aspect of the knee, from the femur, femoral condyle here, down to the medial, middle, medial upper tibial border, and it goes along this whole edge. Most of the time it will tear off or partially tear right here. Yours did not rip completely, but it's definitely partially torn, it's sprained. And that's right. what a sprained medial collateral ligament. So what we're going to do is we're going to inject right here, we're going to do ultrasound, and we'll probably just do, so we're going to spray with cold spray, right where my finger is. Okay. 
that like nitrogen or something? It's ethyl chloride. Right. Yeah. Chloride. And it'll turn white when she's frozen. Keep so that's to numb the, just the skin, the outer skin. So there, there it's, it's kind of freezing up. Okay? In kind of bubbles, but it dries instantaneously. This will dry instantaneously. So that'll take care of that, and then we need to get the, so it turns a little white. Oh, she's ready. You feel it? Yeah. It's, it's, it stings, it does. Yeah. Okay, then. When you put ice on something, yep. it's like a little stingy. Yeah. It feels. So then I localize the spot. Just go right through the skin, just a little bit. Did you feel that? A little pinch? Yeah. Nothing. Mm -hmm. So then I just numb it up first. Then I go all the way down to the... So she feels that. So this is going to numb it up. So basically we just go right where the spot is and go all around. So she's numb all the way around. So I'm going to inject the plasma right into the ligament. Mm -hmm. The lidocaine doesn't... So that's the worst part, huh? Mm -hmm. You felt that a little? Right. Yeah, a little bit. Right. Thank you. So the plasma, like this. Get the air bubble out. There we go. You know, so it's a little bigger needle, so you definitely want to put that that lidocaine in there. So now we can see where it was. It came from. So I just inject. She should not feel a thing here. And she may feel a little bit of pain when I go all. See how, how far down I go. I'm yeah. touching the ligament, which is right by the bone. So I'm going to aspirate. Make sure everything's okay. And, and you can essentially feel when you're touching yeah, it. Huh? I can feel when I'm touching the bone. I don't know if I'm touching the bone, I'm touching the ligament. Mm -hmm. See, there, I'm, I can feel it. Mm -hmm. And I go all around the ligament. Go into the ligament. That's the difference between this and cortisone. You don't want to put cortisone anywhere near a ligament or a tendon. You put it around it. This, you go right into the ligament and the tendon because it's got the healing properties. So we want to heal. And we're done. Now, I'm going to take this out. See how she got that wheel of, of uh, plasma? Look how big it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to massage it in. Oh wow, it's like a bubble there. Yeah, to really get it in, into where it needs to, to heal the Can tissue. Can we see it again? It's already, it's already, down, going, it's already going down. It's already going down. Wow. Pretty neat. Yeah. So I just massage it into the, the torn ligament, partially torn ligament, okay? And that should, you're not feeling any pain, I'm really pushing hard. She's not feeling any pain okay. whatsoever, whatsoever. Now, there, there's some docs that don't advocate using the lidocaine, and I, I think that's kind of barbaric, you know, so I definitely numb it up before I do this, because otherwise you'd be, it'd be a lot more painful for you. Good. And that is pretty much it. All right. Now you can't even tell. Good. So, so you want to tell us your name? Cynthia Godoy. All right. Thank you for uh, letting us uh, record this. Your, what was it? Platelet? Rich plasma. Platelet rich plasma. Platelet rich plasma. Platelet rich plasma. There you have it. Thank you.